Welcome back students and one of the important question coming to the next part of the uh, concept is all about the planes. When a plane problem is asked in the question, the compulsory question is all about the plane inclined to both HP as well as VPDS students. As I told inclined to HP is represented with theta and inclined to VP is represented with pi. Based on the inclination of this, they are going to ask for sure uh, the question for 15 or uh, 10 mark. Now if the question like if a square comes in the problem that is very easy to work out and even if it is a rectangular plane even that is very easy for you all work out and even if it is a circle that is very easy for to work out I am going to let you know why these three are easy and a related video is uploaded already in my channel. For example if a pentagon or a hexagon is asked, students get confused of which edge is resting in HP and which side is with respect to VP. Uh, students get much confused with these concepts related to the pentagon and hexagon. For sure, we can expect either a pentagon or hexagon. Sometimes they are asking even semicircle also, dear students. If you are good at the circle, you can work out even the semicircle also. If a circle or a square or rectangle is being asked in the paper, you are the luckiest students for this batch and what if a pentagon and hexagon is asked to work out a plane surface inclined to both HP and VP. The first and foremost thing you need to look at the question is what is the given plane? The first and the foremost thing you need to look at the question is what is the given plane whether it is a pentagon or whether it is a hexagon. Later after that what is the side of the pentagon let it be 30 or 40 or 50. I have uploaded a video on regular construction of pentagon and hexagon already in this channel and these all are in millimeter dear students and what is the next point to be taken into consideration the next step is that what is the initial position of the given plane what is the initial position of the given plane you are supposed to work out I mean whether the surface is inclined to HP or whether the surface is inclined to VP so the third thing is that the initial position is all about the that is nothing but the surface inclination whether the surface is inclined to HP or the surface is inclined to VP you need to know the question and the final step is the edge if you look at the planes it has only the sides or edges or the corners so whether the edge or corner is inclined and it is inclined to which plane getting dear students the first and foremost thing is to identify what type of plane is given if it is given a side will be given for that later what is the initial position i mean whether the surface is inclined or not the second step will be compulsory surface incline and the later the third step is edge inclination edge is inclined to which plane these are the things to be kept in mind before going to work out when a plane problem is given for example a pentagonal plane is inclined making an angle of 30 degree to hp and 45 degree to vp with its edge i was telling here that when a pentagonal plane now let's look at the conditions of the pentagon how they are going to ask if the pentagonal or hexagonal thing is us the first thing is that what is inclined if the surface is inclined if the surface is inclined to hp then how your position will be as i told in the earlier video if the surface is inclined to hp you are supposed to work out first the reference line this is nothing but the xy line and this is a vertical plane and this is a horizontal plane now the surface is inclined to which plane dear students it is inclined to horizontal plane that means the true shape of the pentagon or the hexagon or whatever it is given we will be getting it in the or the top view isn't it the true shape it is inclined to which plane horizontal plane your answer will be below the reference line now draw the pentagon below the reference line with a given angle given distance getting i hope you know how to work out the pentagon with the angle now here if you look the straight edge is this here the straight edge is kept perpendicular when a plane surface is inclined to one plane its straight edge need to be perpendicular to the other plane now students may get confused can i draw like this even the pentagon 
so this is incorrect dear students if you look here pentagon has only one straight edge now here the straight edge is parallel to vp but the condition is that when a plane surface when a plane surface is inclined to one plane when a plane surface is inclined to one plane its edge should be its one of its edge should be perpendicular to the other plane to the other plane i mean vp getting if you look here this is a condition a and this is a condition b where the student get confused in order to draw the first step if your first step is incorrect the entire the three step problem goes wrong as per this so initial position to be known dear students as the surface is inclined to hp the plane should be parallel to hp the plane surface to be parallel to hp plane surface in the sense what its straight edge should be perpendicular to the other plane the straight edge should be perpendicular to the other plane hence this condition is correct and this is incorrect dear students and do not confuse among yourself getting and for example they will be asking another thing that addition to it and edge edge incline to edge incline to vp and the edge incline to vp again continuation to this question that the surface inclined at an angle of 30 degree hp and the edge on which it is resting is inclined at an angle of 45 degree to vp now the condition a is correct for this problem not the condition b if you look at here this straight edge need to be perpendicular to vp so the surface is parallel to hp getting now if such problem asked in the exam the first and foremost thing you need to do is to plot a straight line perpendicular to this and the remaining other sides need to be made as per the regular hex pentagon construction now first you are supposed to work out what dear students you are supposed to work out the true shape and the other view is a line the other view is a line in the next step measuring this distance you are going to work out the length of the line measure and what is the given theta here whether it is 30 or 40 and then plot out the second step you are supposed to work out the second step so that you are going to get the reduced pentagon in this view getting i hope you know that later in the third step whatever the reduced view you got in the second step need to be tilted need to be tilted in the third step i hope you are following me so this is nothing but pi so what is given edg is inclined to vp the resting the which edge the straight edge or the edge on which is resting is inclined so plot this distance measure this distance from the second step the first step is linked with the second step and the second step you are going to work out the third step if you want to work out the third step you are not supposed to look at the first step you are supposed to take the help of the second step measure this distance and work out this angle as per this angle as well as measurement so you are going to project this i hope you know all this procedure please kindly go through my uh, channel and work out this so that you are going to get final hexagon here you are going to get final sorry pentagon here this is a question when a surface is inclined to hp and edg is inclined to vp and there is a second condition one more second condition is that when surface when surface is inclined when surface is inclined to vp and edg is inclined to hp and edg is inclined to hp this condition and these statements are applicable to any type of solid dear students that may be any type of solid let's take into consideration the hexagon now for example this is an xy the hexagonal plane of side 40 with its surface inclined to vp when the surface is inclined to vp i told that you are going to get the true shape in which view dear students the true shape you are going to get in the vertical plane the true shape of the plane is in the vertical plane only but the surface is inclined to vp in the sense its straight edges are perpendicular to vp its straight edges are 
perpendicular to VP. I mean your pentagon position should be this and your pentagon position should not, sorry, your hexagon position should be this, the first one, but not this, dear students. You can work out your hexagon this two ways. That means your straight edge should be perpendicular to the other plane. Here if you see the straight edges are parallel to this plane. So this condition is incorrect for the given problem. So the surface is inclined to HP, VP is given for example. You can work out both, both may be correct. But here edge is inclined to HP. That's the reason the edge which is inclined to HP need to be placed perpendicular to HP perpendicular to HP. So the straight edges need to be perpendicular and the surface is parallel. And the next step you are supposed to work out in a similar way that the it is inclined. The straight end you are going to get whichever you are going to get. You are going to take it and incline it with a given angle. Then projecting it. Then whatever its edge AB for example that you are going to take in the third step and tilting it then you are going to project down you are going to get the final please keep in mind these things so that that will be very easy for you to understand whichever the plane is given the most of the student confuse when a pentagonal and hexagonal plane is given which is the correct position to work out this is the correct position for this conditions dear students I hope you will be working out what is a given plane, what are its sides, what is its initial position and the surface is inclined to which plane, HP or VP and edge is inclined to which plane. This is how you are supposed to work out when a plane surface is inclined to both HP and VP. Hope you are liking my videos. For more videos, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel as well as comment in the comment section for more videos. Hope you will share with your friends too. Good luck and God bless you all. Thank you.